Welcome back race fans. Here we have another video demonstrating uh, on the track differences between the generic cars that uh, you've been seeing us chatting about online and all that kind of stuff. Uh, the one we're going to use on this race is going to be this kind of like a BMW SUV or CUV or whatever they want to call them these days. Uh, this car along with these three down here, or these, all these cars down here, the one that I showed in the last race, and this uh, SUV we're about to race now, and the one that's going to come up in the next video. All of them seem to be made by the same company. They're very similar. The undersides of them, they really remind me of the pictures I've seen of Arten cars. Uh, I don't know what brand or anything. It doesn't say anything other than made in China. But uh, So these cars are all quite similar. It, what's interesting, though, is if you drive this car, which obviously looks like a serious race car that can stick to the corners, and then you drive this one, they actually feel like they should. This one doesn't have nearly the same handling capabilities that, that these do. These are still a lot of fun, though. They're really fast, and they do stick better than, you know, lots of cars, but it's just, it's just not quite as much of a racer as this one. So here we go. You can see for yourself. hammered off the back wall there. Less than eight laps left. Whoops. Oh, there goes my drone too. Doggone it. What's going on here? Just as I was laughing, and I flew off the track. Uh, that figures. Less than two laps to go. And I just won the race. Makes me almost a lap ahead. And there goes the drone. So once again, you can see how much quicker these cars are than uh, your Carrera-type cars. Uh, actually, I've still got a few others to show you, so we got some more videos coming up like this. If you like these, stay tuned, and uh, hope you enjoy them. We'll see you in the next round.